What's good, YouTube? Project Karma back at again with another video. And as the title says, we are doing a pound for pound list. If you know anything about pound for pound lists, uh, they're subjective. But we are putting our seven characters on the list, and we're going to let you guys know why we put them on the list. Go ahead, put your list down below, and we'll get right to it. All right, so list number one, we got Khalil's list. Uh, go ahead, tell us how you made this list, Khalil. Like, what was your criteria to make this pound for pound list? So as far as criteria goes, I figured I'd go with something a bit different, like Armin at the bottom, because he's definitely developed better as a character from being a little whiny, bubble blowing baby, baby to, <laughs> okay, I have to do what needs to be done to stop my friend even if it means oh, what needs to be done nosuke i just like it nosuke because he he's basically me are raised by <laughs> boars that, that's my guy but kawaki Kawaki, i like i've always liked the uh aspect of the bad character trying to ease his way into the good graces of antagonists mm -hmm. I, I liked how Kawaki had to actually earn everybody's trust rather than, hey, you know, we're, we're glad to have you, man. Like, no, he's still an outcast, even to this day, currently. I like how he's still willing to do what needs to be done to oh. save Naruto's life. So, wait, you're a you're a Vegeta over Goku guy, right? I prefer Vegeta, yeah. Okay, yeah, I figured because of what you just said, but continue. Sensei, because he's just, he's cool because it's like Kawaki doing anything for Naruto. Koro Sensei, he'll do that he can to keep his uh, students out of trouble and keep them out of harm's way but he still gives them enough freedom to let them learn for themselves like hey see you can do this all on your own too you don't really need me G, he, he's Yuji he's just a likable character I haven't seen a likable protagonist like this in a long time he's just like he's not an a-hole he's not a jerk or anything he's just Moro is the definition of hand man I don't need to say anything else other than that. Zoro's just, he's a smooth dude. And I threw all at the top of my list because of his influence all throughout my hero. Even though he's not a hero anymore, All Might still influenced the entire, you know, the entire planet. Everything, even the villains wandering up their planets is because everyone's inspired by All Might. Okay. I respect the picks. I can't even be mad at it. Which I which I think mm -hmm. Aunt Amari. I mean, I I'm, I was quite interested. I didn't think he was gonna have uh, Kawaki on this list. To be completely honest, considering that he's like a brand new character in the whole Naruto universe, that that is pretty interesting. Though of all the Naruto characters, I mean, True. he did save Naruto, life, so I, I will give you that respect. Uh, Yuji being a very very likable character. I mean, he is a likable character, but. Oh no, I don't, I don't think I would have chose Yuji, but that's you know not my list. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to think though, Khalil. Khalil didn't put it on for like just likability. It was like all around just how he, he yeah. came to so his like. Yeah, that's the best part about powerful pound list. Like it's it's whatever you want. It's you know, but plus I uh, used uh, Kawaki as a Boruto character rather than a Naruto character. Ah yes, yes. respectable. Uh, see there you go. All right. I think we'll move on to mine, and then we'll 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 let Ant start it off for my mine if it deserves any slander. So, moving on, we got mine. So, I chose Scar. I'm not gonna lie, Scar and his fight with uh, Armstrong is what put him on the mm -hmm. list. Um, I guess I should say that I chose mine on like actual fighting in the animes and mm -hmm. how much I like them. That's kind of how I became, how much I like seeing them on screen when it's time to fight. Um, it's kind of how I came together with my list, but Scar and his fight with Armstrong is what put him on this list alone to me. I feel like this list wouldn't be right because he was throwing hands for real in uh, Brotherhood. So that's how Scar got down there. Thurkel, I feel like is is like Khalil's All Might, like, I mean, not All Might, Zoro. Not too much to say about Thorkel. When Thorkel got on screen, we knew it was about to be a show. Um, Andy kind of had that presence, too, early on in the season. Um, that's Andy from Attack on Titan. Uh, 
when she scooped Aaron like as just a regular soldier and then you know when it was actually fighting and boxing for real even when it was Aaron's time to finally fight her it's, you still didn't know if he was gonna be able to beat her or not because it was Annie and she kind of had that Mikasa effect um Mikey Mikey was just badass through the entire time and then you know I got the picture so you know Mikey uh for sure he earned his spot all straight karate karate kicks to the face you know he giving Jackie Chan vibes uh then we got Luffy uh I don't know why I it's just Luffy slugger style is kind of what made me go to him plus Luffy uses like the other person's power uh and endurance against them to beat them if that makes sense he uses like your strength against you so I like that Luffy actually has a way of fighting Mike guy he, when he opened the gates and my guy was still like he we always saw him as a trainer so when we finally got to see him fight in naruto like there's not a lot of Mike guy fights um throughout the entire season i think it has to be like no more than five uh y'all can correct me afterwards if i'm wrong but i think five might even be too much um but that's my guy and then i got yusuke simply because yusuke is known for his spirit gun like, you know, he like fighting with like long range projectiles, but when he like really, he will still fight you with the hands. Like it's like the archer who's fighting you with the hands. And I saw that as Yusuke throughout the entire Yu Yu Hakusho. So I'm giving him the top spot because that's versatility, the, the boy orthodox. But uh, what do y'all have to say? And he's your boy, but I'm glad to see you got Mikey on your list, considering you're finally not being a phony. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be a phony. I like the karate kicks. I ain't going to lie. But I no, it's like so solid. Yeah, let me hear what you guys say, and you, Let me hear you start it off with this one. No, it was, it's so solid. I mean, Thorkel, I kind of see what you're saying about Annie also, because we've seen Annie was kind of like a dominant presence in Attack on Titans between what, season one. I think in season one, right? I don't think she was in season two. Mm -hmm. So... I see that we all saw how Mikey was his presence being able to control and you know lead Toman and who was feared at a young age, you know what I mean? We all saw Mike guided the moderate and Scar was also a pretty was a pretty good antagonist and then like uh protagonist towards the end of uh Full Metal also. And uh the way he used his alchemy once he like started using his other arm, I think it was. Was uh, pretty clean, so I respect this list. Very and everybody likes Luffy, appreciate right? And everybody likes Luffy. That. I thought I was gonna get more hate for the Yusuke, but I, I think I defended it properly this time. That hate proof. Well, I feel like that's your boy anyway, so he was gonna be up there. But I mean, like you did give a good point, even though everybody always knew him for like spirit guns. You know, when you were kids, you always tried to do that. My boy wasn't scared. Like if he was in close range, he's still throwing hands. So that's yeah, why I was like, like ah. You know, I'm just, my like, boy he's was a brawler, scared. but That's all right. his and best my, moves was like the super spirit gun. Nah, yeah. I'm gonna fight you with the hands. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you know these hands work first, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna be the archer. Right. But uh, and then all right, y'all y'all gave me some some praise. I'm gonna take that. We gonna y'all ready to move on? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right. So next we got antsless. Let's hear it, eh? Why you? How'd you uh, make your list, and why'd you choose your people? Uh, for me, I kind of went off of like uh, how Kalu said, kind of like ability. I like a lot of these characters, and I like the the fighting styles from each character. I'm, probably, I'm gonna go from the top. Uh, I picked Luffy as my top just from the grit that you get from Luffy. That like that not giving up. You know what I mean? It's a lot of times where you see Luffy in certain fights and it's like you he's really not gonna win this, but he still comes out. And I like the uh the fact that he's able to be so versatile with his uh devil fruit compared to you know have just getting a really strong devil fruit like some of the other characters in the show. Um Shinra for me, I compare Shinra to Flash, not in like him being that good as a character, so people don't you know confuse it as that, but like the speed factor, he feels like a speedster to me. And I'm really uh, in tune with Flash. I like the Flash a lot. So I put Shimra and Flash kind of in that same category for me. Uh, Boji, you know, Big Boji, you know what I mean? King Boji, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Boji's fighting style to me was really clean. In the show, Annie had a lot to overcome also. So it was like an internal battle and battling other people and, you know, stuff like 
uh, uh, Nalfa Me also had a a lot of internal, not internal, but like a lot of conflict in his show outside of just the normal fighting that he had to deal with. And um, the fact he had a shield, like I said, a lot of people don't um, like shield, like in games and video games and stuff like that. But I like shield, so I like uh, Nalfa Me and uh, Chuya from Bongo. Uh, usually for me, any character that controls gravity, anything like that. To me is kind of clean and always like super powered or really strong and he kind of has that fighting style like uh sanji kind of like, just uses legs and stuff so i picked chuya instead of picking sanji uh thorfinn i like the double like the dual dagger the dual knives and stuff of thorfinn and i feel like we'll go see later on even though he took a lot of l's in the show don't get me wrong but i feel like later on down the road we'll actually see the full potential of what thorfinn was actually because when he fought other people outside of like aslan and thorkel he was actually putting in some work and then uh you know the grave digger and so you know what i'm saying pulled up with the shovel and actually beat the man and destroyed him so i had to put him on this list also i, I always think what if kurapika would have lost that fight like entire legacy would have been wild and <laughs> would have been over if kurapika would have lost that fight right it would have been really embarrassing but yeah. the, the real great digger, you know what i'm saying the, with the shovel it, the it first lost. Child, if you want to call it a second you know what i mean so gotta put him on this list no, I respect it for sure. Respect it for sure. Honestly, um, I'm surprised Thorfinn's not higher. Yeah, that Thorfinn yeah. higher. Maybe I think I would have saw you swap Boji and Thorfinn, but I agree with you, Kilo. I thought Ant would have had Thorfinn higher. I think Boji beats Thorfinn, which is why I put Boji higher. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any normal like fighter Boji beating, but I, I respect his list. Exactly. I'm not gonna lie. Khalil's list still stand, stood out the, the, the most to me, for sure. But I always got to hear Khalil's yeah. explanation behind his. Because, you know, his list be looking like he wilding sometimes. But I, I, I get this. I get this. But Yeah, I got respect for this, too. It's definitely different uh, characters. I wasn't expecting Kurapika or Chuya. Uh, especially Chuya, because Bongo straight dogs. You know, not, not that many people know about it. But I do... I do agree with you. I do like his ability to use gravity and fight because he has control of the area while also still being able to fight. And he's not most times using his legs too. So it gives a little uh, finesse, I could say, mm -hmm. when fighting. So yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, your Shinra, Shinra sticks out the most to me, I think, for your list because you got Boji higher than Thorfinn because you think Boji could beat Thorfinn, but Shinra's probably destroying Luffy at this point. Yeah, he is, but I like, as far as characters go, I feel like I like Luffy's character more than Shinra. a little bit more than I like Shinra's character, so that's why I put okay. Shinra. They, it's close, though. It's just it's okay, okay. close. I feel like I'd agree with mm -hmm. that, too. I feel like I do like Luffy's character more than I was. Yeah, Shinra's definitely beating Luffy now, or close to it, but I feel like I like the characters. Yeah, wait, it's Luffy might be having a different transformation, so who knows? Exactly. All right, oh, so yeah, okay. solid for sure. So let's move on to the last one. We got Amari's list. No. All the names pop up there. Um. So basically, when it came to the, to this list, aside from Gojo, because I don't, we don't really know the full backstory of Gojo. Um, I'm gonna start from the top. My boy Deku, of course. You know, he he started Quirkless, didn't have any any powers. You know, started from the bottom. Now he's here. Uh. But every time that I saw him fighting, I always was interested because even if he was about to lose, he was always going to continue to push himself, whether it was to, to prove a point for himself or to protect others. And I find that really important, you know, protecting my friends and family. I think that's a really highlight point for me. Gojo, I mean, whenever we saw Gojo on the screen, like we knew the fight scene was going to be amazing. So that that's really what it came down to with Gojo. And he always had a lot of finesse. Because it's like he didn't take the battle too seriously, but he still could if he wanted to. Um, Boji, I mean, you know, even though we just started watching Ranking of the Kings, my boy really went through a lot to get to where he is now, especially with, you know, the disabilities that he had and how everybody treated him from the get-go. He's really made a point for himself now. Zoro, I mean, I feel like, you know, Khalil and Mike, y'all kind of agree, you know, he's just he's just that guy. Your, your right hand man, the wing man, all that. Like, you would always want him to be there. And every time we've seen him fight, it's always been pretty solid, too. And I think it's just going to continue to get that way as the episodes go on. Um, Garo, 
from One Punch Man. The reason why I chose him, even though he's he's kind of like an anti-hero, for real, for real, but I just liked him because of the way that he constantly adapts when he's in a fight. And he's also trying to fight against the grain of everybody always wanting to aspire to be a hero. But he actually wants to be a villain. And I kind of see that as his way to test uh, the hero society. Um, Yuma Kuga from World Trigger. Uh, his backstory is a little interesting too. Because he's actually, his potential is high. But because he let that get to his head, he died, came back kind of thing. Um, but, you know, he's very tactic a great tactician when it comes to fighting and then Baki uh, I just really like him because he, he's like martial, a martial artist so that kind of comes back to when I took martial arts but of course in Baki's world it's to the extreme so but the main thing for most of this list aside from Gojo is that everybody had to start from like square one and work themselves up to being the strongest that they possibly can uh, whether it's for themselves or for some, somebody else Kalu, I feel like it's only right. Shigaraki and Deku. Be honest, there is on this list. I see one, two, three. I see four people I would not have expected to be on this list, especially since and one I don't know is Yuma. I didn't expect to see Boji, Aro, Ama, Ma, Baki. What made you really want to just? Where did that come from? Over all the other characters you could have picked, it was them though well when it came to this really i think it it really came down to like how quick they all tried to adapt in the midst of battle and because their fighting styles are so different too like i said when it come to baki like he was kind of like a street fighter in the beginning but then as time goes on he constantly fought against other people and would adapt their fighting style into his own fighting uh same with like uh garo as you saw like no matter who he went up against Regardless of what their fighting technique was, he would adapt in the midst of battle. Uh, Boji, I mean, and Khalil kind of know the reason why I chose Boji. Like, he, you know, young deaf kid was always bullied on, but he, he's just he's just a king. He turned what, what was used against him into his own strength. And then Yuma Kuga is just, uh, I like the way that he fights. Like, he used to be full of himself, but now he's like, he has like a little bit of a smug smile to him. But if he sees that somebody's worthy, he'll think outside the box when trying to defeat them. He likes Baki shorts. Stop. <laughs> See? He just couldn't give me a moment without you trying to... You really are Shigaraki. Mike, and what y'all think, though? No, no, no. Like, I, I agree with everything you said. Um... Like Khalil, I don't know who Yuma is, and I think I would have guessed that you would have put Garu on. Um, I know clearly in the manga he does more than what we've seen so far, so I am interested in seeing what he has to to offer. But everybody in the top of your list, m m list makes sense to me. I would have also expected you to have Naruto on here. I'm not gonna lie; it seems like you dissing your boy Naruto for Deku a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you, hey. but if you want, <laughs> leave him behind. It's I all right. The main reason I went for for these characters in particular is because they were doing more hands. Like, nothing against Naruto. Like, you know, he always got the Shadow Clone Jitsu, the Rasengans. Like, those were his main things. But when it came to these characters specifically, they relied more or less on their hand-to-hand -hand combat. Naruto did eventually, but that wasn't until much later on in the show. Fair. fair. I mean, nah, that, that makes complete sense, actually. Zoro. Well, I guess Zoro does... The rely swords on his hand, like the combat. Their extension. Well, no, hands. swords are extension of your hand, so. Yep. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You ain't seen Kill Bill, but all right, <laughs> that has been our video. Um, I kind of want to hear you guys' uh pound for pound list down below. So, if you want to put together seven characters, go right ahead, and we'll uh let y'all know what we think about them. If you like this type of video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.